In this video, we'll explore the example regarding the pipeline of chapter 5 in the book The Art of Micro Frontends. In here, you'll see a monorepo that is managed by Lerner. Once you clone the repository, make sure to run npx Lerner bootstrap to actually resolve all the dependencies. This may take a while. Using npx is recommended because that way you don't have to install Lerner globally. Great, after you did that, you can just start the application. This just runs npx learner run app, which runs a learner command, and the command is run, which looks at all the packages for the command given afterwards, which is the app command. So here it was just found in a single of the packages and the dash dash stream option as Lerner to stream the output. So once the local installation of Lerner is done, we can see that Lerner executes the one command in one package. And now our micro frontend solution is running. So let's have a look. Here we are. Micro frontend one, micro frontend two. Now the gist of this example is that there are certain views and the libraries are actually connected via a require call. So at build time, this is actually all wired together. And you can actually see that this all comes in one pipeline and uh, all the packages need to be available for this to run. Now looking at microphone and one, that just needs to expose a function, taking our app and then doing the rest with it. So for instance, registering some routes. This kind of pattern works on the server and on the client side. But of course, it requires either very complicated pipeline structure or a monorepo to be fully leveraged. In this video, we'll have a look at the server discover example of chapter five from the book, The Art of Micro Frontends. Like the previous example, we use a monorepo as a basis. However, unlike the previous example, we don't need the monorepo. The reason for this is that each package in here is actually an isolated application. Let's have a look at the app chairs to see the difference here, we don't have fixed require statements. Instead, we have a dynamic lookup that, for simplicity, was just hard-coded. But you can imagine that this information is actually retrieved from a database. The actual addresses may be resolved dynamically within your infrastructure. Now, when this runs, it assumes that the microfrontend, such as microfrontend1 here, also set up they run at the port, they have their directory, and so everything just comes together. Let's have a look at So we run the application. Like beforehand, we use the npx script runner to start learner, run the run command, and in this case, run serve, which is the command in actually all three micro frontends. Let's have a look. The app, it has a serve command, node lib app.js, microphone and one, node lib index.js, and microphone and two, node lib index.js.
Now all three servers are running. We run at different ports. Let's have a look. Looks the same. Looks the same. All working. But it can also work, of course, in isolation. So microphone and one still works. Microphone and two from 2002 still works. And uh, that's the beauty of this. Now servers could dynamically be created and there is no central pipeline that needs to uh, take uh, action when anything happens there. Just that the discovery part needs to update.